Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be hosting episode 2 of Bangers of the Month for June. This month had a collection of very good goals, but we have chosen the theme to be long shots. We're going to discuss the three goals, the players who scored them, the teams that were involved, and everything around that game. Here on She Scores Bangers. <laughs> In number three, we have Mallory Pugh's incredible goal against Orlando Pride. Pugh puts a perfectly placed ball in the top corner to give McLeod absolutely no chance of saving that. This whole goal was enough for Chicago to snatch three points and move on, and they are currently sitting in the third spot in the NWSL table. The 24-year-old American forward is having the best form of her career so far. In the seven matches that she's played, she's had six goals and two assists. She's a very consistent player for the national team and gets called up very, very frequently. She's also going into the CONCAF qualifications as well as the World Cup for next year. And in fact, is in conversations of being in the starting 11 if she's able to continue doing what she is currently doing. She's also a World Cup winner in the 2019 competition where she was often on the score sheet in the group stages. The second goal took place in a friendly against Brazil where Denmark beat them in a dramatic 2-1 victory. It was a defensive Brazilian mistake in the bag that gave away possession. Jenny Thompson, who's only 22, took this absolute banger of a strike to open the scoring for her nation. Jenny plays her football at Norway at Valerna Demir, I hope I pronounced that correctly, where her role is usually more on the defensive side of things at club. But for country, she usually pushes forward to the midfield and has looked very, very good and comfortable in that position. She got her first senior call-up in 2020 when she was only 19 and has been involved in camps ever since. Thompson was incredibly active and involved in this game, really trying to make a name for herself in the starting 11. This game took place at Parkin Stadium, which is the stadium for the national Danish team. It was also a sold-out crowd and a great scene for the Danish team going into the Euros. Denmark overall had a very overwhelming performance, really reminding people why they should not be counted out or underestimated going to the Euros. Now for goal who ranked number one on our list is by Denise O'Sullivan. I mean, honestly, look at that build up, the first touch, the finish, the celebration, it's all too good. This was honestly one of the most entertaining games that I have watched in a while. North Carolina took the lead very early on by this goal, only to go on and concede four goals in a row. However, it looked like they had a comeback on the rise as they were able to get two back, but eventually lost the game 4-3. The Irish international currently plays for North Carolina Courage in the NWSL, who won the Challenge Cup earlier this year. She is a consistent starter and an important role to the club on and off the pitch. She won the NWSL championship back-to-back -back in 2018 and in 2019, also being named in the WSL Player Team of the Year. Her style of play requires tons of energy of movement, but Denise really never seems to ever slow down. She is a key player in winning the ball and retaining possession, very good at playmaking and keeping the tempo going for her team. For country, she has been in the senior squad for almost 12 years now, never really missed a camp, very, very consistently being called up. She is currently in the campaign to help them qualify for the World Cup, which they seem to be very much on track on. If you talk Denise O'Sullivan or Irish football, these two go hand in hand. She is very much considered as a true pioneer of what football has become in Ireland, especially for the young girls. Those were the three goals that we have chosen for June. It was actually really, really hard to pick out those three because there were so many good goals that took place. It was quite a busy month in terms of there was a few leaks still going on. Obviously, the NWCL, very, very active one. There was a ton of friendlies. There was a ton of World Cup qualifications going on. But we felt that those three really fit the theme of long shots and kind of had an incredible backstory behind them. The first goal was a very important win for her team. The second goal saw a 22-year-old at-home soil step up in front of a sold-out crowd and score a very tough goal in front of a very tough team. And the third goal, honestly, was in one of the most entertaining games that we have seen in the WSL so far. Seven goals, you don't see that often. It was also Denise O'Sullivan, who I think is, is very iconic. Honestly, if you talk Irish football, not only does Kitty McCabe come up, but definitely O'Sullivan as well. Let us know your thoughts on those three goals and if you would have ranked them differently. Thank you so much for joining us on today's very quick episode of Bangers of the Month. I'm sure those bangers are only going to get better, especially in the summer now with the Euros coming up. And I'm so excited to really see which goals we're going to be choosing. If you have any suggestions of goals that should have been in the top three that we might have missed on, do let us know. Speaking of which, the Euros kick off next week, which is very, very exciting. Make sure you follow us on Twitter to stay updated on what games are taking place that day and which streams are going to be offering these games. On top of that, make sure you subscribe to us here as we're going to be releasing tons of very fun content. As always, make sure you're on the team to stay updated and to continue enjoying the beautiful game. I will see you later.